What's up Rockstars, welcome to another news video. Today I have some brand new games to show you. I got a whole lot of new info. I got some games that are really struggling that I'd like to show off and kind of talk through that, see what's going on there, and of course show them to you guys. There's just a, a, a ton of stuff to go over, so we're just going to jump right in. Thank you to my channel sponsor Into the AM. As a company that believes hard work and a great product is a proper way to conduct business, I am delighted to have them as part of the channel. They have some of the coolest graphic t-shirts around and an absolute best fit and feel that has continually exceeded my expectations. With new shirts arriving all the time and other products like boxers, hats, and even a monthly shirt club, I wholeheartedly recommend them to you. Check out the link in my description of this video for an exclusive 10% off everything they sell. Now as always a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members for their financial support. It is through their support that this channel is possible. If you appreciate the videos I make for you guys every single week and you can give even a dollar a month, there is a link down below. I just filled out like three pledge managers. I am very poor, please help. <laughs> but no, seriously, this is an expensive hobby and that's why I do what I do here, guys, so that you know where your money's going, where it should be going, all the information that you need, even if they're not telling it to you, so that you can make a better purchasing decision as an informed consumer, or at least more informed than when you started the video. That's the goal. Okay, so before we jump in here, I do wanna actually start noting what is on my table. I realize I leave it just kind of a mess half the time, and I don't ever explain it. You guys are like, what's on your table? What are you going to play? What's this game? What's that game? So been playing some Twisted Fables, been painting some Twisted Fables uh, about halfway through all the miniatures painting those, maybe a bit more than halfway actually at this point. And uh, yeah, played a few games with my kids. They've all enjoyed it. It's a great little game. I've also been reading the Madara rule book. That's a big thick stack of rule book you see there. So yeah, there's, there's that too. Lastly, the last thing I'm going to say before we dive into games is I hope you had a great Father's Day. Either you celebrated it with your father or you are your father yourself, in which case, congratulations. You are a very important part of the family and a part of, you know, having kids grow up and then borrow a whole bunch of money from you as you grow older. At least that's the more and more what I see these days anyway. So <laughs> anyway, let's just dive right in now. Um, Aeon in, Aeon's in past and future. This is always a big deal. Uh, everybody loves, well, not okay, everybody. I don't know what I'm saying. A lot of people love Aeons, and it definitely looks pretty. This is actually pretty colorful, so I really dig that. There is a ton of game here, actually, and they are offering, like, if you haven't gotten into it yet and you're wanting to, dear Lord. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at that. 455 bucks will get you all of this new stuff here. And this is no joke, this is a big box, plus six waves. What are the six waves? All of this. Okay, these are like normal size boxes and then expansion. So you get one, two, three, four, four normal size expansions. One, I think maybe slightly smaller, two larger ones, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten other, you know, like smaller size expansions. That's a ton of freaking game, 455 bucks though. That's a lot. Now, granted, I just spent that on DC deck building, but that's besides the point. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> one thing I will say here, by the way, is that the, the shipping on all of that, which is a lot, by the way, that is a lot, is 80 bucks. So you get all of that for 80 bucks. So uh, for all, everybody that commented how like, oh my gosh, you know, it's 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 reasonable for Kaban to charge that much. Well, Again, they're they're kind of all all alone doing it, except for a few other other people. Otherwise, um, I think things are pretty reasonable. Eighty bucks is more expensive than it used to be for sure. But that is a lot of boxes. That's a ton of game for that, which is pretty darn sweet. Moving on, we got Dungeons and Lasers Encounters. This is like their fourth Dungeons and Lasers game. I think the last one. I believe they started delivering earlier than anticipated. They are quick on these. This is not the uh, Archon of uh, yesterday. This is the Archon of today. And they are making a whole lot of hips, miniatures for your D&D &D pleasure. Uh, this is, or any, I guess any, uh, you know, RPG. They have neoprene mats. It's all 5e compatible. They have a whole bunch of terrain and minis and you know, monsters and all sorts of stuff to get you started on this, including I think even some like actual D&D &D stuff like um, 
uh, like lore and stuff like that to help you. Uh, it's just, it, it looks really, really nice. They have these different sets. You can kind of customize what you want to get into. They're minis, by the way. I mean, they are very, very nice minis. And so all of the, this freaking black unicorn is sweet. I will actually be showing this off. I think they're sending me a sprue. So I'll, I'll be able to show some off uh, here in a future video. Stay tuned for that. I really like the variety of enemies though. Love the wolves, of course. That's a freaking giant wasp. There's just a lot of really cool stuff. And they are doing um, a whole bunch of uh, unlocks too. Like a, a, a ton of unlocks. Let's get past all this. Dear Lord, there's so much stuff. Yeah, this is all unlocked stuff that they're doing which just looks awesome. I mean, all of this is like applicable for someone, I'm sure. Like, oh man, who they got a frog? My wife might flip out. She loves painting frogs. That's like her her thing lately. Frogs and turtles and stuff like that. That's how you get her, man. I'm telling you. Okay, anyway, there's a ton of stuff here. So you get a whole bunch. You get a whole bunch. Look at that, four sets for like 154 of like hips minis and it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff, I'm sure. Definitely check that out. Should be pretty cool. Skyrise, I covered this last time. I'm covering it again here. Almost 250,000 race. This looks super cool. Um, Alex from Board Game Co. gave it a favorable review. Um, I think he said um, on his thumbnail, what was it? Um, like streamlined something or other. I love that word, streamlined. Oh, oh, perfect. Yes, please get rid of the bloat. Give me just the cream of the crop, just the good stuff. Anything that wasn't the cream, I don't want. I want the cream. So anyway, there's a lot of like really, really pretty looking stuff here. This game is going to look super pretty. Big tower minis and stuff like that. And they can do that pretty easy because it's all pretty much single cast for them. And so it's not actually like super expensive. I mean, at the most, because of the size of some of them, they might have to put summon of a couple multi parts but it'd be very small i don't know where, where does where does a person get goggles like this I, do, I don't know i don't like i'm not shopping in the same places he's shopping at i can tell you that much um and i feel like i should be shopping there like if 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 that is that the most tame thing he found in the store or is that the least tame thing he found in the store wherever that was probably online I don't know. See, anytime I order something online like that, I always feel like it's going to be like a kid size. So it's going to like expand this big and my head's too big. That's that's kind of my my fear. These 3D center island board stuff. It's just crazy. And it's super guys. This is like 50 bucks. The most expensive is 75 bucks. This thing's freaking cheap. Like I, I know that's cheap, but for the stuff that I cover, that's freaking cheap. This is an expensive freaking hobby. Dear Lord, I spend too much money on this, but it's great stuff. Return to Dark Tower fantasy role playing game. This is a RPG. It is not the board game and don't let it fool you. It just looks like it. It's the board game RPG style. What I didn't, I I, I looked into this as much as I look into pretty much any RPG, which is to say that I, I, I read about half of the stuff they have, depending sometimes they put a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, I what I don't know is can you buy a pack that just lets you use the board game you have where you don't have to do all this? I don't think so because it does interact a little bit differently. In fact, they have like this really cool GIF. Um, but I mean, you, you can see there's like there's stuff going on here, right? So it is different. Um, but it would have been cool if they had somehow made it playable with the board game you own. So you're just adding like the RPG to the board game. I think that would have been kind of neat. But uh, anyway, oh yeah, see, so that, that's kind of how it goes. So it fits inside and then, you know, the, the, it's just a dice tower kind of thing there. But uh, yeah, yeah, either way, magnets seem to work pretty good. So that's cool. He picks it up by the top one. So strong magnets, uh, even in the prototype. Uh, they do have a roll 20 uh, module for free. So that's cool. You can go in and check it out. Anyway, yeah, feel free to uh, take a look into this and see if it's something you're interested in. If you like the uh, board game, yeah, maybe you like the RPG too. It, 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 I'm assuming it just kind of takes place around it, which would be kind of neat. The Umbrella Academy. This is by Mantic Games, and this has not been doing very well. Uh, as you can see, it has now funded. Goal is 30000 It's at 34000 It has 10 days left. We'll see how things go. I don't know if they'll if they'll cancel or not, you know, you never know. Uh, it can make 500,000 they still cancel. So, you know, who the heck knows what's going on there? Um, yeah, it, it's it's kind of weird. This is the second time it came on Kickstarter. I covered it then. It failed. It's now on GameFound with a lower threshold, I believe. It's now funded, but 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's the Umbrella Academy that's just not popular enough. I don't know if it's this Mantic game's not showing this off well enough. I I don't know. I like this character right here. Uh, what the issue necessarily is, I might have to look into this a bit more. It seems pretty standard for a, a campaign page layout wise. Um, but I mean, I like that they have the how to play up here, like towards the top. I do appreciate that. That's kind of nice. It would be nice to have some gifts or something like that, perhaps. Got a whole bunch of like links here. So they got a whole bunch of stuff, gameplay videos. See if there's any like, you know, really, really popular people there. I didn't see anybody like huge, uh, like, like bigger than me kind of stuff. I mean, maybe they are, I just don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, shipping seems uh, pretty decent. That's not bad. Fifth, what was that? 15 pounds? Was that pounds? The heck is a pound worth these days? Let me know. <laughs> Compared to the like real money, like USD, please, because I don't know any other uh, any other stuff as well. Ancient Blood original soundtrack. This is 19, almost 20,000. So they've made another 20,000 bucks. They are unlocking stretch goals. It's not just the soundtrack. Uh, they have, of course, the regular game too. It's essentially a second campaign for the same game. Uh, so read into that as you will. Some people are more okay with these soundtrack ones than others. Um, but that's typically what it is, is it's just, hey, we have all the renders and art for more stretch goals. We weren't as successful as we were hoping. Here's another campaign. We'll throw in a, th a soundtrack and then unlock the, the other stretch goals or whatever. It's typically what they do. And they are unlocking more stuff. What the heck? Okay, man, I forgot how big that thing looks. That's freaking gross is what it is. Look at some of the stretch goals so you can see some of the new stuff here. Here we go. Looks like, is it just one? So I got the email for this lady. Okay, so here's this one. The next one's at 25, but as you can see, they keep having, this guy's pretty cool too. I don't know if they're gonna hit 35 though or not. Looks like they do have a social stretch goal as well. So anyway, yeah, there's there's definitely more to be had if you're interested in this. I believe everybody gets all the stretch goals and the soundtrack, whether you back or not. So if you're new, you can back this. If you just want to support, you can support it this way. Um, but I think that's about it. I think, I think you get it all, even if you don't, there's an FAQ here. You could probably click that, but I, I read somewhere by someone on the internet that that was the case. So it's probably true. <laughs> Brothers Bond the Game. This is a very pretty game, uh, with some meh, uh, you know, kind of, uh, 3D renders and it is just not funding 5,000 out of 50,000. So this is not, it's not going to happen. It was 26 days or you, the first day of your crowdfunding is so important. If you get anything right, it's get the first day, go lean into the first day, go heavy into the first day. Like any stretch goals you think you want to unlock or whatever, you can change the spacing of those, put more into the first day, make it even more of an attractive offer. Make that first day matter. That is, if you botch that, the entire rest of the campaign is set off that. It, it literally is. While you can, you know, come back and do better and blah, blah, blah. That first day, guys, is everything for a campaign everything not that last day don't be hoping for that okay even that's based on that first day because what it is is you typically get one shot to get somebody to back your game and that's when they're looking at it so that first time they see it on that first day if they bail out more often than not they ain't coming back in okay not even on the two not even on the two day thing right so like the two day thing is there to like get people like one dollar to go up and 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 a few of the stragglers but guys it's it's that one freaking day that first time they look you gotta snag them then so you gotta have a strong strong but this art by the way is gorgeous like the styling and all that is like really really nice there uh this looks really plain this looks pretty okay I would say, um, and it's kind of a weird red brownish kind of stuff here. Again, the art is gorgeous. Um, very, very nice looking art. 89 bucks, okay, that's pretty reasonable. With stand, four standees, that's, so, <laughs> so again, it's, it's just little things like this. So you see the price, 89, okay, hey, that's a buck less than 90. And then you see the name, and then it comes with the thing below. And the first thing you see, the very first thing I see is four standees. Um, not the best thing I think to show as your first thing. Also, this is very sparse. Like there's a lot of empty space here. So it doesn't, you know, like I, like you want those dice like compact and it looks like you get a whole bunch of them, 
All right, more standees, 28 standees, but you're only gonna show three of them there and then some shadows. Again, like you wanna make it look like you're getting as much as you actually are. You don't wanna almost slim it down, which is almost what this is. Like 18, but you can barely see them. Like like, like do the whole stack thing where you can see how many, or do a big pile of them. Or I mean, there's so many different things you can do um, to kind of make it, this, is, this looks kinda of cool, what is this? It was trackers, huh? Interesting, anyway. That art looks so good. I really do dig the art. Very, very pretty game. So, uh, yeah, I haven't looked into more than 140. And then, you know, like you, you, I think it just adds what minis and character trays and uh, some other stuff like that. So you can deluxify it essentially. So anyway, that is Brothers Bond. There's some free feedback for you uh, if the devs are watching. Hopefully they can kind of um, take their game, which I'm sure is lovely and their art which is obviously amazing and show it off in a good way right it, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter how great of a game you have i know i hate saying that but honestly you can have a crap game and sell it if you're good at selling but you have to be good at selling it and so you have to kind of think about how to make that look as attractive as possible even if it's a stinker there are whole companies that r do that all the time <laughs> so so we, we, we get them constantly. Okay, this is Redline Battle of Neom. This is a very interesting campaign I wanted to talk to you guys about because it's so different from the, most of the stuff I show. So this is 8,789. It has funded. It only asked for 8,000. 103 backers. I guarantee this is not going to cancel because this company, this or this a guy, Cameron Duker, Duker, du du Duker. Anyway, Cameron over here uh, kind of has like a cult little following of people that kind of buy his his games, and it, and it's just like this stuff and more of this stuff. Very very fascinating to see these little nuggets of communities. I love it. I think that's fantastic. That he, I, I I feel like I stumbled across like a group of friends doing something in the woods, like 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 larping kind of thing, right? You're like, okay, you guys carry on. You, you, enjoy yourselves i'm gonna go this way right it's like kind of how i feel and i love it i think it's very charming to find these little little communities on the internet that uh that are really into this stuff so i mean who doesn't love max i mean if you don't love max you guys can leave okay go on go on max are cool um <laughs> so anyway so it, but it, this is like a card game right with minis but uh, the minis guys just wait till i get to the minis so yeah it's just it's, it's a card game. It's got like a story going on and all this stuff. And the, the people back in this love it. And he's able to make it very small scale. So he's able to fund it and, and deliver it on, on very small funds, which is very cool. Uh, figuratively speaking, small funds for a lot of people. $8,000 is a lot of money. Now it's all a profit, of course. Of course. But they love it. I mean, the art, honestly, the art here is better than like a lot of the games. They get a lot more money. Okay, look at these renders. First of all, I already talked last time about them. These renders can be improved. Up that contrast. It takes like a minute in Illustrator. You can do it. I believe in you. It'll look way better than these washed out things. Dear Lord. Okay, but look at that. A whole bunch of minis and stuff. I mean, look at this. This is freaking 400, 500 bucks. It's getting expensive. Is anybody back? At, like, is that a pledge level that people are backing at? Dear Lord, there's a whole lot of these. Zero backers. Four backers at 112. Okay, let's get past this. Okay. We have... One backer at 500. Hopefully that's not like their mother or something like that. Zero here, zero here. One backer at 350. So somebody's uh, two people given 122 and 11 at 122. And okay, so anyway, Impact Miniatures makes great minis, by the way. I have gotten minis from them. They do 3D printed minis very nicely. I actually painted a few of those. A little little chibi princess one, I think, is one I painted. But Impact Ventures does good minis. So that's very nice to see that they're going to be having some well-done minis here. Here's the thing. That looks like Steve Aoki. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. All of these minis, look at the different renders, by the way. They're like, 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 there's this kind, there's this kind, and there's this kind. None of these minis do anything. They literally don't do anything. Um, they're thinking about how they might do something in the future, either with this game or a future game. But right now, they're just minis for you, uh, which I think is just it's wild to me. It's it's just what a what an interesting campaign. Um, it goes to show that, and I realize this news video is going along, and I realize I might be a little quirky right now. I don't know if it's because it's late 
or what, I apologize, but I find it very interesting that the goal you set like in your head or what it is you're trying to achieve really dictates success a lot more than actually even just some raw dollar amount. You know, so often we compare success to the big ones, right? Like if you don't make a million dollars, you must not be able to deliver. But then I've played stuff like Red Joker, right? With Oko Chronicles, fantastic game. Love that game. I tell you guys every single time I can how great of a game that is. It is so unique of a dungeon crawler, fantastic quality of components, stuff like that. They've been running their company making less than that. Like they don't, they don't make a whole bunch. They're also not great at like selling it and stuff like that. And for whatever reason, I'm pretty much the only one that covers it, but you know, whatever. Um, I must get off my back, I guess, but it, it's just, it, it, it's interesting to think that we, we focus on the big numbers. And so it's like, oh man, that only made 300,000. Shoot, man, they, they might just cancel. It's like you get to live on 300,000. It depends on if you made a good, like, like, business investment and and you know know what it is you're doing and you that was your goal and if your goal is to i'm gonna make this game because this game i want and i want people to enjoy it whoever would enjoy it oh look two thousand people enjoyed it well i will give them two thousand copies and as as long as you set your goals to that you can do that this person here they're having their 3d printed by impact mentors it'll be quality minis they'll be very nice i have no doubt about it but it's 3d printed you can only do that small scale but it's only making 103 copies right now, so why not? He can be successful. He can. It, it would amaze me. It would amaze me if, like, we just got, you know, through like, you know, like Oathsworn and Shield and all these other companies that, like, really didn't even really make a profit. Wouldn't it be interesting if this guy makes money? Where the guy who who, who does less than nine thousand in sales actually makes money, and the guys doing over a million don't. Food for thought. Food for thought. Okay, Eternal Pilgrims. I'm showing this because, dear Lord, I backed it. 33 euros, about 35 bucks, gives you 400 plus STL bits that work with 40K. Um, yes, please, thank you. I mean, and you can see a whole bunch of different parts and pieces, and it's not just like the normal heads, though there are plenty of heads and stuff like that. By the way, um, let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? This guy right here looks freaking sweet. He looks like Revan. I love it. Anyway, looks like my character from uh, Knights of the Old Republic or Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMO. I was a juggernaut, in case you were wondering. Anyway, there, there's a ton of stuff here, guys. Like a ton. Of, like, dear Lord. Okay, so there's a lot. There's a lot. Okay. Yeah, if you have a 3D printer and you like Warhammer, there you go. Okay. Switching gears a little bit, this is either nice resin or uh, STL minis, and these are beautiful, beautiful stuff. So you can see you get the digital bundle and that. This reminds me of Bold. Uh, I've covered them a lot too. I just really like unique minis. I think those are super cool. So seeing like <laughs> the little robot, the little like, tin thing, um, there's a dwarf sleeping on his like boar. You know, there's just so many interesting. Uh, this reminds me of like old school anime. Like I love this. Like like that could almost be Bulma. <laughs> uh, anyway, just or this like you know it's called Payday. This like bounty hunter western kind of dude. There's so many cool minis here. So unique. They got a pug. They got a pug. Um, but if you paint minis and you have not painted a 75 millimeter resin hand cast miniature, do yourself a favor and find one that speaks to you that excites you. Take the plunge. I know it's expensive. Treat yourself to it just once. It is. It. I. I've. I've said this to patrons, and they've done it, and they become addicted to it. Like they buy a whole bunch because it is such a pleasurable experience. They look so pretty. They paint up so well. It is so different from painting these little guys. You'll love it. I promise, and it'll look fantastic when you're done. So anyway, I like to show that off when I can. Temple of Horrors. This is a game coming out that will not fund a whole lot. Let me tell you why. So they have about 500 following it right now, which is which is nice. Like that's that's good. I'm not saying that they won't fund. I'm not saying they won't make a ton. And again, they might make a profit, but it is definitely a very indie experience here and not everybody is up for an indie experience. So why is it an indie? Well, there you go. You can tell right now just by looking at the renders. Wow, okay, when I say I need some contrast, calm down with the contrast 
just white. <laughs> 34 millimeter, 31 millimeter, like, like those, those are good sizes. So that's a good size of minis. They're actually fairly dynamic and interesting and cool. Like I like this kicking one here and stuff. Like they're nice. They're, I, I just, I just don't think they were shown off well. <laughs> and I don't know, what is, what the heck is that little guy? The little guy. Um, and, and again, everything's kind of spread out here, uh, which, which I think could, could work a little bit better. You know, like, like we got mana cubes. And it's like, I, I don't know if I need to see white cubes and black cubes. So. Yeah, but you know, I mean, yeah, they're 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 trying, so that's cool. They got like walls and stuff like that, which are pretty neat. Like the half walls, you still see your minis. That's actually kind of important. Uh, it, yeah. Anyway, I don't know anything about the game. I just uh, I hope they can. The renders actually look really cool. They just need to improve again the visual quality. That is a fantastic kind of classic uh, art, by the way. Okay, this is. I'm gonna have to read the URL. A hot nick, okay, because I mean that that almost looked Russian to me. Like I, I don't know, like are, are those are those English letters or what's going on there? Anyway, what is this? What is this? Well, it's this. Uh, we're on Facebook here, so we can actually see it. Look at those minis, guys. Not bad minis. It kind of reminds me of like a Pacific Rim kind of thing because you got like these mechs and you got like these these kind of alien things. I think I have to go back to well, maybe not back. Anyway, you can kind of see here's like the board. It's a very busy board. It's a very ugly board um, with some very um, contrasting colors and, and bright lights and stuff like that. I don't like the board at all. It's very generic looking to me, um, but the minis look very interesting. Definitely an interesting art style. I have no idea how it plays. These guys here seem to be enjoying it tons, so that's good. Um, FYI, if you're gonna post pictures of people playing your game, I think that's a great idea. Um, try and get them to smile uh, because you want to see people like you, you want it to seem like you can't help but just enjoy this game and, and and love this game. And I and I'm not saying they didn't smile. I'm just saying you didn't get pictures of that. And I think that's super important. Uh, yeah. Anyway, these look super cool. This one, like, um, I don't know. It looks totally unique. So I have no idea when it's coming. But uh, there is a little sign up page link down below. This is way late in the video to say this, guys. But everything's linked in the description below. I'll get used to doing like YouTube stuff someday. I promise. I promise. Finally, finally, June 22nd, the grand convergence update of Senko Kushin, AKA Senko whatever, whichever one you want to type out. Uh, 622, so that's real soon. I'll have an update the day after, letting you guys know what the update was all about, so that if you forget it, or you miss it, or you can't make sense of it because their updates are like, I make Kickstarter look like a small scroll. Uh, they're huge. Uh, I'll go over that, compile it, and let you guys know then. And with that, that's all I have, guys. I hope you enjoyed this rather lengthy news video. I talked a lot about these campaigns. Hopefully you learned something through it, though, anyway. Again, there is a link down below. If I missed anything, if there's anything you'd like to show off, uh, comment down below. Let us know. I'll be sure to go ahead and put that in the description, along with everything else, so people can see it. Because I think that'd be great. All right, take care, guys.